Hey, I do want to mention uh, Sean Ryan is is the guy who helped put together the incredible last match docu series. If you guys haven't seen it, go to Ric Flair's Last Match dot com. Uh, the the most recent episode, of course, aired at the very beginning of this podcast. So go check it out on YouTube if you're listening on, on an audio only form. But man, how talented is Sean Ryan with that series of videos he put together on Un- unbelievable? This yeah, you know I felt bad because. Uh, when you're trying to prepare sometimes, I would just, I was kind of not rude to him. I just say, Sean, let me have some time. Yeah. I, I know he wanted to be more in depth, but I, when I'm trying to get ready for something that, that is that meaningful to me, I just, it's hard to be smile and think smile. You know, does that make sense? Yeah. But, um, yeah, he put up with me. I'm, I'm sure I was difficult, uh, especially the last couple of hours before the match, but I just wanted to be with the people that I you know, that I know and was comfortable with. And, um, 12 years is a long ways away, but if, if I, if I had retired at 40 and was coming back at 52, it'd be different or right. 60 coming back or 50 coming back at 62. But at, um, what? 61 to 73. 61 to 73. Yeah. And that, at, but I was in better shape for, for the, for this one than I was for the last one. And I think it, I think my that last match, even though it might not ever be what's regarded as a technical thing, only because of my hydration issues, um, there was a lot more that could have been in it. But I, I think people were satisfied with it, and I didn't hear anybody complaining. So I'm, I'm just thankful we made it through it, and uh, I'm thanking again. I did that night. I can't make it more clear, and, I, and I'm speaking to a bigger audience now, obviously, uh, but. Thank you for the support. Thank you for coming to see me. And, uh, I hope I didn't let you know. It was awesome. And, uh, I, it couldn't have happened without a lot of support from a lot of folks behind the scenes. Exactly. I want to shout out Brian James, who helped run the show. Yep. Got to more and the impact crew, man, they helped run our production. I got to meet David Sahadi for the first time. And yeah. Matthews did a fantastic job as the line producer and Keith Mitchell was there. I know. I know. Paul and Chris Dispenza and. I mean, this was not just one crew. There's yeah. parts from AEW. There's parts from WWE. There's yeah. parts from Impact. It, it was really special. I'm really proud that that it was able to come off and look and feel as special as it did. And uh, I just hope that you're happy and that you're. Oh, you know, I'm happy. But once again, we, the, one, of the, one of the things I think is missing in the business now is that fraternity Yeah, that, that we used to all live in and i don't mean fraternity house where i live now <laughs> but <laughs> but the, but the brotherhood and the fraternity of wrestling and 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 sunday night exemplified everything that it used to be and i wish it was more like today where everybody comes in and, and people i didn't even know came out at the end of the match yeah and just thank me and i mean so polite and so nice and they didn't have to do that i hope you didn't send them out there did you no, I was no. in the front row. Come on. No, I mean, it's, well, I mean, it was, it was so nice I mean, yeah. to be appreciated and, and have, I mean, everybody, I mean, I knew a lot of them, but a lot of them I had never had the privilege of meeting before or actually the honor of meeting. So it was awesome. And I, I can't thank them enough for the support. And I hope that they walked away, um, and felt like they were part of something special as well. Well, I, uh, I loved it, man. It was a lot of fun. And, 